the awareness of the object and the subject is common to all of us if we meditate regularly we have the distinction of having awareness of the self the world defines what awareness really is most of the time 100% of our attention is directed outwards as we are lost in objectivity For example, if we are speaking to someone, we are usually totally engaged in the conversation. We are not really aware of ourselves speaking. Our attention is directed fully towards the person, and hence we get lost in objectivity. To be in a state of awareness, some of our attention needs to be reversed. we direct it back towards ourselves when we become aware and when we talk to someone we are aware of ourselves speaking when we eat food we are aware of ourselves eating when we listen to someone we are aware of ourselves listening When we remain aware throughout the day we find a remarkable change in ourselves it becomes impossible to continue certain types of behavior anger greed violence fear hatred everything will disappear from our lives we can only be angry or fearful or greedy when we lose awareness it is impossible to be angry or be anything negative when we are aware of the self meditation is one of the best ways to be more self aware of ourselves as well as our surroundings Meditation helps to relax the mind by focusing our mind on a single point. It is easier to still the mind by first concentrating the mind on something than by not concentrating on anything. Focusing on the breath is an age-old form of concentrating the mind. We should concentrate on the gap between the breaths. That is the gap between in-breath and out-breath and vice versa. It's in these gaps or pauses where our breath originates from. Let's do a quick 5 minutes meditation together. Sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. First focus your attention on the breath. Take a few deep breaths and bring your awareness to it.
Now bring your attention on the gap between two breaths. Don't influence your breath in any way. Try to maintain continuous awareness of the breath and the gap between the two breaths. Try to concentrate on the full breathing cycle with increased focus on the gap between the breaths. At the gap between the two breaths, we are completely still. We are not even breathing. Just be aware of that. Focus on the gap. Being aware of that middle state, all thoughts disappear because our body is completely still. Our mind also becomes still at this time since it is following the breath and is focusing on that moment of stillness. Do not try to intentionally hold the breath. Thoughts will keep coming, but do not be upset. Just bring the mind back to the meditation every time. Gradually the thoughts will diminish and one day will disappear altogether. Allow the body to breathe normally. Over time, with practice, the breath becomes more subtle and refined. The gap between the two breaths may also increase. The breath may even slow down and the entire breathing cycle may lengthen. Be in this state for as long as you like and feel comfortable. When this happens, eventually the mind will calm down. As we continue to practice, there will be a sense of peace and joy finally. Meditation with breath technique is one of the easiest and most fundamental ways to meditate. When people fail to keep the mind quiet with other meditation techniques, they usually always succeed with the breath technique. The reason is simple. Our mind is attracted to rhythms and hence it is easier to focus the mind on a set rhythm. Breath is the most natural rhythm found in our lives.
Meditation brings the mind to the present. The mind always tries to take us to the past or to the future. By focusing the mind enough on the present, we become aware of our existence and our surroundings and stop dwelling on the past or thinking too much about the future. Deep breathing is very useful as a meditation practice and is also strongly advised when one is feeling angry or stressed. Hence the saying, take a deep breath. It immediately makes one more calm and tranquil. Being aware of silence is a great way of calming the mind. If you just meditate for 5 to 10 minutes daily, this can change your life completely. The practice that we did today will help you to cleanse your aura and this will help you to get rid of all the negativities from your life. Meditation is the first step towards the mindful and conscious living. So happy meditating.